I'm just introducing the world to more of our Asian whiskey. I thought I was going to die on that plank. Okay, so here I am with Richard. Um, with Richard. A few minutes later. Oh, hello. With Richard. With Richard. Richard's here. Um, <laughs> we're in a hotel in Shanghai right now, which is the northernmost province um, of Thailand. And tomorrow we want to go to Laos. We were thinking about doing the slow boat, the two-day slow boat, and we were going to do it all ourselves. Um, but we've decided to go via like an organized trip that the hostel has organized the reason we've done that is because we found it really hard online to work out when the boat was going to leave um in lao to luang prabang and it looks like it used to leave at like half 11 mm. in which case we were going to get a 6 a.m bus from shang rai but now it seems to leave at like half nine yeah we've heard very mixed things because again yeah most of the blogs that i think were a few years old now yeah uh were saying yeah 11 30 a.m is when the boat would go and a lot of the comments we found were more recent than like at least a year old but we asked around on uh sort of a Lao tourism Facebook, Facebook page and someone told me that 20 days ago they both left at 9 a.m some other people were saying yeah. they leave at nine someone said between 10 and 11 so it was a bit of a mixed bag it's still but we thought if we have like an organized one from the hostel, it means that we can leave earlier than the first public bus. Mm -hmm. So we'll leave here at like half five rather than six and hopefully that extra half an hour will help us. Um, and we've just, what have we got? So uh, we've got a little- We've ticket. got our immigration yeah. documents that we need to fill out. Yes, which is quite helpful as well, because obviously if we turned up on our own, we'd have to do the immigration forms on arrival. These are the forms that we need to fill out. Mm -hmm. We also have to bring with us a photo, like a passport mm -hmm. size photograph for immigration as well. And you need um, an empty page, like a full page in your passport for them to stamp. So yeah, we've already got the passport photos because we got them done in Chiang Mai. Mm -hmm. So I think we're pretty much set. Well, that's ready to go. So this is the form that you need to fill out. I think you can do it actually at the immigration office, but we have it already so we can do it in advance. Um, you ask for your name, your job, your passport information. It also wants to know um, the address of your hotel that you're going to be staying in. Um, but I think you can just say something like hotel in Pak Beng or wherever it is you're going to be. I don't think you have to be super specific if you haven't already had it booked. Um, yeah, so that is the form. So you can't get the currency that's used in any over. <laughs> So you can't get the currency that you need in Laos, the Laotian kit outside of Laos, but they do use US dollars. So we're trying to exchange some US dollars um, so they can use them at the border. I think it's about $40 at immigration anyway, and make sure you have some more when you're there. You can obviously get um, Lao kit out when you're in Laos, but then you can't exchange it again in Thailand or any other country afterwards. You can only use and exchange Laoish and Kip inside the country. And corrected, some banks will um, exchange Thai Bart to Laoish and Kip, but they won't do it the other way around. So we found somewhere in Shang Rai, simply exchange. So this place in Shang Rai will exchange into Laoish and Kip. Um, and we're just trying to decide whether to do dollars, uh, just dollars or Kip. Yeah. Early breakfast. <laughs> we are through the Thai immigration um, and just now waiting for a coach to take us to the Friendship Bridge so that we can go to Lao.
get all our rain gear on. I'm gonna drop all of the food in there. We are on the boat. I repeat, we are on the boat. It was slightly stressful, quite long. Yeah, I guess we've been up to four, so we've been up for six hours. We're now at the mode of transport to actually get us to yeah. our destination. <laughs> so we're now at the start of our journey. I am the start of our two day journey. Um, it was actually like. A bit more confusing than I thought it would be the whole thing. I feel like it was more confusing than it would have been if we just did it ourselves. Yeah, maybe if we did it ourselves, it'd be a lot less confusing because you just like do it. Whereas we were like, who do we speak to? Where are we going? What's happening? Yes. Um, but we're here. <laughs> and I'm wet. <laughs> I got a great apple on, so here's the moment. Yeah. Getting ready to leave. made it to Pac Bang. We have. We're halfway through the two day Laos slave boat journey. Yeah, that was like a seven ish hour journey yeah, it's that half first five. leg. Yeah. Um we're staying in a lovely hotel called Yeah, it's really, really nice here. Yeah, the Mekon Riverside Lodge. The one by the riverside, there's two. There's, there's one two, up yeah. the hill by lots of things, there's one by the river, which is what we're and in. We've only just walked in, so we need to have a look at the view because we have like a riverside. It looks like a balcony. It looks lovely. Let's go have a look. Yeah. This is our lovely room. We've got a fan. We have one of these mosquito nets, which we use in pie, and it was very helpful. Um, look at this. Oh, there I am. Hello. Let's go look at the view. Yeah, it looks oh, amazing. Oh, the oh, oh, are we sharing it in the next door as well? Oh, wait, that's cute. That's nice. Wow, what a view. Stunning. Hi. Shame we're only staying one night, really. Genuinely, yes. What a mistake. We are about to go out into the town um, to find some vegan food, to find vegan dinner somewhere. Maybe get a drink as well, if we've, if we've got the energy. Yeah. The strength, the willpower. And then we get back on the boat around half eight tomorrow morning and then start the next part of the journey on to Luang Prabang. Okay, let's go and find some big food. Lock up our little home. Hello. Oh, that's all. We're just sorted for tomorrow. <laughs> we just ordered to pick up at half seven. Um, what is it? Avocado, tofu, and vegetable baguette? Yeah, with a little bit of sweet chili sauce. With some sweet chili sauce, yeah. It sounds delightful, I'm not gonna lie. Yeah, I'm that's actually a fun combo. Do you know what? I've never had tofu in a baguette before. No, yeah. We are in a restaurant called Sabadoon, and it's a really cute menu. Mm -hmm. Got a little box. And we have an amazing. Oh, you literally hand eaten. Oh my god, look at that. Hand eaten. No way. It's incredible. This is amazing. Tofu, that's what I want. You got a drawing. That's amazing. 
And then we've got a beautiful view as well. Look at that. Oh, we're having a nice time in Pak Bang. Aren't we, Richard? Yeah, sorry, I was distracted by how cool this is. <laughs> <laughs> Learn how to say thank you in, in Laotian. So go on. It's Kop Chai, uh, thank you. And Kop Chai Le Lai, uh, thank you very much. Were you reading that behind me? No, I was looking at you because I forget my message for the camera when you're all in my three. Ah, uh, hello. Hello, hello. 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 I used to put it here on my forehead. Maybe, yeah. Put it over your eyes. <laughs> I'm a heat ray that tastes really good and I got for two pounds. <laughs> two pence, I think. It's insane. Yeah. And then what'd you get? I got a little glass of Laotian whiskey. Wow. Which I just had a very small sip of and it is potent. Is that? Yeah. Pretty good to be honest with you. Go on vlog, have a set. <laughs> oh, How much does your Lao whiskey cost? A glass of Lao Asian whiskey costs 61 pence. Oh my lord. Not bad. Breaking the bank. And it's strong, it looks. <laughs> oh, it's strong. <laughs> <laughs> it's clear, which I did not expect. Yeah. Couldn't even have a sip, I smelled it, and it was like a thousand percent alcohol. I cannot drink that. It's a sip, I think, is the answer. I can't even sip, I couldn't even smell, it was intense. Sticky rice. It smells extremely good. Yeah. Oh, that looks great, pumpkin curry. It smells so good. Dig in, one up a seat, cop try. Using Danny here is a sense of scale so that when you see me zoom in, you'll see just how tiny this little guy is. Mm -hmm. Look at our gorgeous little friend. So I'm in this bar where you can yeah. pick the music via their computer and I've yeah. just created my own decks and I've like taken over. Thank you. Yeah, that's fun though. Here are my two decks. Danny's on the ones and twos. <laughs> Here we go. What do you want to say? Uh, I'm just introducing the world to more Laotian whiskey. You're introducing the world? The Laotian whiskey. Yeah. As the official sponsor of Laotian whiskey, I've got to say, drink it. Cheers. It's good. Good morning. Wow, what another amazing view. It is about quarter past six in the morning and we are just getting ready for day two on the river. We just ran back from breakfast and the reason we ran, you can probably see on my glasses, <laughs> it's raining quite hard. Tell us what's going on Danny. I'm wet. I'm really it's raining a little bit outside. Like, look at that. <laughs> we've got to go back out and that. We've got to go pick up a baguette and then get on the slow boat. And time is ticking. Wow, look out here. That's mad. Isn't it, it is crazy. I don't even know if I can waterproof my stuff well enough for this. Yeah. <laughs> Hello. Last night we went, or well, yesterday, we came up over this, I'm pretty sure. And I hope we're not no, doing I, this. I, do I hope we are not doing the same again. It looks like we're boarding over here today. Which is far preferable. Oh yeah! <laughs> that is crazy. This feels treacherous. Oh man. Sorry, Octobus, you don't deserve this. Oh you okay, babe? Well done. <laughs> well done. <laughs> Wish me luck. This is taking everything I've got. Made it. Here we are, on the boat, we did it. 
We did it. <laughs> We're drying <laughs> our, <laughs> our coat. Made ourselves very at home. The boat is really nice. It's, it's so, so, nice. so nice. It's like a cruise ship. <laughs> We've even got our own bin. We have plugs and sockets under the coat. Under the wet coat. <laughs> <laughs> our wet plug sockets. <laughs> um, yeah. It's going to get warm in here because the sides are down. So it's already feeling like a greenhouse, actually. <laughs> Look, there's speakers as well. It's a party boat. Oh, man. I thought I was going to die on that plank. I thought I was going to tumble onto the rocks and into the Mekong River. <laughs> but I didn't. You did not tumble. <laughs> I did not, not tumble. tumble. <laughs> oh, that is, that's probably the expensive cruise going by, isn't it? Get them. Rainy inside the boat as well as obviously outside. So we've now put the sides down again. But we were actually getting cold on here. I mostly put this coat on just to get warm rather than to stay dry. But I think it's going to get perfect here now. We've even got tea now. Yeah. What have you got? Lipton. Have a little Lipton, a little black tea. Nice. Wouldn't normally do black tea, but to be honest, given the context, it's just a yeah, delightful little drink right now. Yeah. Having a lovely time. I hope we can be heard over the engine. It's slightly louder, yeah. I think, than yesterday. But also, I think the boat's slightly faster. The boat seems faster and it's visibly much nicer. Yeah. Really is the great. Yeah. Yeah, I think we're okay. Which anyway, I would have preferred it if yesterday's boat was faster and today's boat was slower. It's still going to be like nine hours. That is true. But I would have rather spent like five hours on that boat instead of seven and then 11 hours on this boat. So <laughs> you love nine, this boat. I'm mad, but I could, I could live here. I've yeah. decided that I'm living on the boat. Okay. I'm a North Pole man now. <laughs> You got, we're reading our Kindles on here as well. So yeah, we're having a lovely little cozy really time. Nice. Yeah. yeah. Oh. I'm just sneaking. Sneaking my tea, I bought green tea. So yeah, there's no view right now. Yeah, unfortunately the shutters are down. Yeah. But I say unfortunately, I guess it's fortunate as it's hammering it down with rain. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> we picked up some baguettes um, for getting on the boat today. And we ordered them yesterday. And uh, we ordered avocado and tofu, and I think veg and sweet and sour sauce. I'm just really hoping there's no egg. Because the tofu that I had last night, I'm a bit worried it's had an egg in. Um, we're about to open them and see. We picked these up in the pouring rain. Yeah, thank you. Thank you. The paper's a bit damp. It's like a A4 sheet of paper, that's interesting. Fair enough. Yeah. How is it? Does it seem good? It smells good. Interesting. It looks like um, just tofu, it doesn't look eggy at all, so amazing. Right, I'm gonna dig in. This is our beautiful view right now. Oh, I see. Sorry, everyone. Sorry, Clark. <laughs> Not a bad spot for lunch. Not a bad spot. We're <laughs> on the front of the boat. <laughs> that is the Mikey Lee coming from us. Work in progress. Look at 
I'm the tutor in Shanghai. Um, my first real introduction to our lovely tutor. Just one of the best modes of transport, really. So here we are, seeing that, looking out for the road ahead. Thank you. We've arrived. Oh my god. We made it. On to our next dock. Where are we at? Luang Prabang. Luang Prabang, the final destination. We just need to get a tuk-tuk to our hotel. So, quite far. Yeah, about a 20 minute drive at the moment. So we're saying goodbye to our boats. Uh, hello. Yeah. To our new city. At least that's good. <laughs> so, we're oh my god. Right. Getting the tuk-tuk off the slow boat is very confusing. Um, so I don't actually know where we're going to get dropped off. Okay. It's a bit of a mystery. I'm just hoping it's less than a 20 minute walk to our B&B because our bags are obviously heavy. So yeah, we're just in our tuk tuk journey now. And let's see where we end up. Yeah. What did you order? Mekong River Wheat. We've accidentally gone this crazy trekking route and we literally just saw a snake 